So I have a problem. I have a lot of problems. It's like no matter where I turn, I'm always giving my energy away. Do you guys do that? It's like you're constantly supporting and uplifting everybody around you energetically. You know, it's like you're blessing them. But then all of a sudden, it's like those same people you were blessing, they turn on you and they start to look down upon you. Here I was uplifting you so that you would feel great. And now you're turning on me and making me feel small. And I thought, this is not good. There's something wrong here. So in this episode, we're gonna focus on how to bring back your energetic light body and how to stop playing small in your life because it no longer serves you, sister. So let's get started. Now, I am a strong believer that giving is way more important than receiving. I tell my kids all the time, be generous, and it's gonna come back to you in a tenfold. But it gets to a point where you have nothing left for yourself. And when there's nothing left for you, bad things are gonna start to happen. So I felt this shift. Something was off to me. I knew that I was giving my energy away too much to other people. Do you ever do that? It's like you give somebody so much of your energy, so much of that love, and instead of being grateful and humble, it's almost like the energy turns them. Kind of like in Lord of the Rings, he puts that ring on his finger and he feels this incredible passion and power. Well, I think that's the same thing that happens when we give our energy, our light to somebody and they're not ready for it. It's like that power shifts them. And instead of being grateful and humble that you share your light, which they, I don't even know if they realize you're doing, instead, it turns on them and they start to look down upon you and start to make you feel like you're less than and all the people around you. And that's when, I don't know what happens energetically there, I'm still working on it, but that's where you know something's not right. So as I reflected on all this information, I realized that there was a pattern here. Once I had given away all my energy, all my light, and there was nothing left for me, I began to feel as though my own life was lacking. I was sluggish and I wasn't fulfilling my dreams. Instead, I kept feeding the people around me with no thought of myself. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't support your friends and you shouldn't support your family. That's not the message here. But when you take your foot off your own gas pedal to feed another's ego, well, that's where it's all gonna backfire. You see it all the time in relationships. You know, one person goes to school, they're gonna fulfill their dreams. They're like, I'm gonna take care of you. And the other partner's like, I'm gonna support you. And you're like, oh my God, we're so in love. This is so perfect. And you support them the entire time. They go through school, what, five, six years. And then at the end, they're like, mm, kind of done with you. And the other person's like, but I gave you my life energy. And they're like, if I'm gonna be a senator, well, I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. So once I realized that I was just giving away my life force energy, and you're gonna know you're doing this because it's like that punch to the gut. You get that pain right in the solar plexus. So I knew I had to pull my energy back in and I had to give myself a little me time. Not that kind of me time, but that never hurts. So first I cried and then I cried some more and then I cried because I felt so mad at myself that I let this happen. And then I was super sad and I kind of just kept going through all these emotionals, uh, purging as I'm crying in the shower. My eyelashes, you can't really get them wet and I'm in a hot shower. So I'll, I'm like, okay, I'm crying and I'm really upset. But at the same time, I don't wanna ruin my eyelashes, but it's okay because I knew my appointment was gonna be like the next day. So I was like, if you're ever gonna cry, this is the perfect time to cry because I could just let it out without ruining my eyelashes. <laughs> so once I let all these emotions wash through me, I didn't hold back, I didn't identify with them. I just knew I had to take a dose of my own medicine. All those tips and tools that I keep preaching to you guys, all of a sudden I'm like, I have to do that. So I'm in the shower crying and I'm like, don't identify with any of these emotions. Just let them go through you. Which was kind of nice because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when we do this work, it's really hard to cry because your energy is always up here. So I was like, take advantage of it. 
doctor, my lash appointment is tomorrow, so I can finally just let it go. I knew I had to be alone because my inner critic was out and my inner bodyguards are out and they're all ready to fight, right? They're all ready, they're defensive. And I can already feel my husband's balls in the other room starting to shrivel up. I'm like, he better not ask to come with me because I'm ready to fight. I was kind of ready to go into that dark place. So I took my dog for a walk to get some alone time because I need some space. And fortunately for me, I can do this in nature. And as I started walking, I began to command all my energy that had left with other people in other situations. And I was commanding it to come back to me, bring all my energy back to me, clean and clear, bring all my energy back to me, clean and clear. And I kept saying this under my breath. My neighbors were probably like, what the f at first I was angry and I felt that feeling of being used, but then I switched it and I went from being used to feeling powerful. And as I did this, my energy started to fill up all around me. By the power of Grey Skull. And as you can see, my intention in this entire ritual was all about commanding all my energy to come back to me clean and clear. And I kept doing this and kept walking until finally my dog took like 10 shits and stopped every five minutes to take a piss. So it gave me that chance every time the dog stopped to kind of also reflect and hold that energy. And I could see the energy coming back to me. It almost felt like each step I became more and more powerful, which was such a great feeling because the other way I was being was I was just empty and uh, feeling so disconnected and sad and heavy. After about 20 minutes of this, I started to feel a little bit better and I started to feel all my energy return to me, but I still wanted to do more for myself. So I had my headphones in and I was gonna listen to a meditation, but instead the universe brought me this video by Sadhu Guru and it was called How Not To Let Ugly Situations Mess You Up. I'm gonna put a link for you in the descriptions. I love this guy. I love listening to people that just resonate with me. Hopefully you get the same feeling when I talk to you, but I can feel that his intentions are good and so are his messages. And as I listened to his video, I was instantly reminded that it doesn't matter what happens to you or what other people say. What matters is how you choose to react. I reminded myself in all of this, I am not a victim. I'm simply playing an old program that says, don't be too bright. Don't show that you know too much. Uh, play small. Pretend you don't know something. Don't try to be too smart. Don't try to be too big because you're gonna get in trouble. That program is bullshit. You can't not be successful and give away your energy. Now again, I am not talking about love. I'm not talking about caring. I'm talking about your personal energetic sacrifice that you're making because you're running some subconscious program that says, if you're too powerful, if you're number one, no one's gonna love you. You're gonna be alone and you're gonna be thrown away. Again, that's freaking bullshit. As I listened to this video, I continued to bring my light back to myself, filling myself back up. You know, I had to stop and pick up dog <laughs> every once in a while. It's a perfect, great reminder for me to be in the moment. Get all my fucking senses. I can smell the dog shit. I can smell the trees and the flowers. So by the time I finished doing this, I felt whole again. I continued, I was walking down the street and I, my spirit was up and I remind myself of all the shit I preach to you guys. I'm not my emotions. I'm not this body. I am light having a human experience. I wasn't ready to jump in and be 100% grateful. I wasn't like, yeah, me, I'm amazing. My face was still puffy. My eyes looked like I was Rocky Balboa and I had just finished a fight. Come on. You are my crazy old man. You'll get there. But it doesn't matter. The most important thing was I wasn't carrying around all those toxic feelings anymore. And by the time I got home, I was really lucky because my daughter was waiting for me and she gave me this huge hug. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm able to receive her love and her energy because I'm not stopping it. Now here's the magic part. While I was walking, I had two clients and another two while making my cup of coffee. I thought, wow, this is so interesting. Just bringing my energy back and not stopping my feelings, but purging them actually brought me success. 
I mean, small success, but still good success. Imagine what more I or you can do when we bring our energy in. Listen, we're all in this together, playing and trying to figure shit out. But if I can give you one piece of advice from all of this is don't play small for other people. Don't dim your light to make others feel comfortable because when you're breathing your last breath, no one cares or can see that you sacrificed your light for nothing. So being small or being invisible doesn't get you a ribbon at the end of your life. So live your life to its fullest. Live as an example. Choose to be happy. Choose to be you. Make your own experiences. Don't be a freaking virtual lighthouse for other people to siphon off your soul energy. So I hope this video can help give you permission that you need to bring your energy, your light back to you so you can shine like a mother because it feels good and know that you're gonna find a tribe that's gonna match your new frequency. And hopefully it's with us. Until next time, I'm Marisa Greco, your mystical guide.